Good morning everyone. Welcome back. I'm Katya. Today I have another flow for you that is really great to be practiced in the morning. So I would love it for the practice to become a part of your morning routine, something that you can fit in in the morning and get you started well for the day. Okay, so let's begin. We're going to stand with the feet underneath our hips. And then from here, we just interlace our fingers and give ourselves a really nice big good morning stretch. Inhale, stretch it up. And then exhale, release your hands. You can make fists and you're just gonna curl and contract, bring your arms into the center. Inhale, now stretch your arms in any direction that feels good. Big good morning stretch. Exhale, bring your arms in, bend your knees, round on your back. Inhale, stretch in any way that feels good. Reach, reach, reach. And exhale, contracting. Inhale, stretch it out. Reach, expand. And in, we got one last one. Inhale, stretching your arms out away from your body. And exhale, contract. Now staying here, place your hands onto your thighs just above your knees. And then inhale, lengthen your spine, look out forward, send your tailbone back. Exhale, round on your back. So this is like a standing cut stretch. Inhale, lengthening. Lift the chest forwards and up. Exhale, round on your back. Releasing your head, draw the belly in. Inhale, lengthening. And exhale, round and roll yourself up to standing. Inhale, take your arms all the way up to the sky, grounding your feet. Exhale, open your arms, knot your chin to the chest and roll yourself down. Bend your knees. Remember in the morning will tend to be stiffer. So just be patient with your body. Come into your hands and knees. And then from here, we're just going to make big circles, going all the way around. Just move in any way that feels good for you, stretching it out. You can close your eyes, just moving your body to release any, any tension, any tightness. Switch direction, go the other way. Let's do one more circle going around. And let's come back all the way to the center. Reorganize yourselves, hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips. Find your beautiful long spine, breathe in. And then breathe out, we go into our opposite arm and leg reaches, our superman, superwoman, stretching out. Inhale, sliding your hand and knee back in. Exhale, your abdominals are nice and drawn in, support your back, reach out long. Just waking up through the limbs, stretching out, inhaling. And exhale, reaching, inhaling, exhale, breathe in. Now on this next one, we're gonna add a different movement. So extend it out first. Now lower your toes down, tuck your toes onto the floor, keep your neck nice and straight, your leg nice and straight. Bring your fingertips to the back of the head or the side of the head. Now inhale, opening your elbow up towards the sky as far as you can go. Exhale, let the elbow come down towards your supporting arm. Inhale, opening your elbow, turning your chest. Exhaling, let the elbow come down. We've got three more. So your standing arms are working really hard. Try and lengthen and turn and lift. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. One last one, please. Open the elbow. And release. 
let your hand come down and come into child's pose for a moment. Take a breath in here and just tune in. Notice the right and left side. You might find that one side feels slightly longer than the other. Rock yourself forwards. And we'll do the second side. So take the other arm and leg, stretching them out nice and long. Lower your toes down, tuck the toes under. Bring your hand towards the back of your head. Inhale, opening your elbow, turning your chest as much as you can. Exhale, releasing the elbow. Inhaling, opening your elbow, turn, turn, turn. Exhale, releasing. So you might find it doesn't go very far. That's quite normal. Just do your best to mobilize the upper and middle back. Your abdominals are lifted, turn, 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 and release it. Here's your last one. Opening your elbow up to the sky, and release. Once more, sit back into child's pose. And I'm hoping you feel a little bit more balanced now. Now we've completed both sides. Breathe in. And breathe out. Good. You can always stay here a little longer if that feels nice. Or come and rock forwards with me. Tuck the toes under. And then come into a up stretch position or downward dog. And just stretching out your legs here. Just keep breathing. Keep lifting your hips up. Stretching out your legs, your calves, the back of the knees, your hamstrings. Feeling your arms and shoulders strong. Bring your knees all the way down to the floor. And let's make your way down to sitting. So from here, we're going to sit with our legs out in front of us. Hold on to the back of your legs. Try and sit up nice and tall. Inhale, exhale, let's curl back into our C curve. Focus now on your abdominals, drawing in. Inhale, roll yourself back up, sit up tall, exhale, curling back. So just mobilizing our lower spine. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. Exhale, curling back. Feel those abdominals switch on. Inhale, lengthening and lift. Exhale, curve. Good. Now letting go of your legs. So just find a position where you feel secure and holding it. You're not straining your back. Inhale. Exhale, bending one elbow. Look towards that elbow and twist your chest. Inhale, reach forwards. And exhale, switch reach and twist. Now you can go slower, you could go a little bit faster, see how you are this morning, what your body needs, always listen to it. Remember to breathe, you're energizing yourself, bringing oxygen to all the muscles, all the joints, the tissues, the organs. Last two. Good. From here, you're going to roll yourself all the way down. Good. I'm just going to shuffle forwards a little bit. And then once you have arrived, give yourself a really nice big stretch. Extend your arms and legs. Reach up long. Stretch your toes away. And then bring your knees in towards you. Hug your knees in. Having one hand around each knee, we're just going to gently circle the knees around, oiling our hip joints. And go the other way. One more here. And then with your hands around the back of your thighs, inhale. 
exhale, support your legs. So again, here, this is a place where we might feel a little bit stiff in our legs. That's normal first thing in the morning, bending your knees. And exhale, extending. And bending. One more time, extending. Holding it here. Separate your legs slightly. You can hold your legs or you can rest your hands on the floor, rotating your feet. And going the other way. Just moving those ankles and toes. Bending your knees and place your feet all the way down to the ground. Feet hip distance apart. Stretch your arms forwards. Just make sure you're relaxing your pelvis. So your hip bones, your pubic bone are all in one straight line. Your lower back is in its natural curve. So there's just a tiny space under your lower back. Inhale. As you exhale, draw the abdominals down. Curl your tailbone off the floor. Start to roll up. We'll take our arms all the way up and back. Good. Press the floor away. Inhale here. Exhale. Peel your spine down. So think of it like a massage for your back. Massaging that spine as it comes down piece by piece. Inhale. Exhale. Roll it back up again. Feeling your glutes and hamstrings now waking up. They're working. Good. Inhaling here. And exhale, peel down. Coordinate your arms so they arrive together with your body. Inhale. Exhale, rolling up. Inhaling at the top. Exhale, try and keep your movement very smooth. Try not to wobble around as you peel down. We just got two more. Just keeping that flow for now as we wake up our bodies, our minds. And let's do one last one here. Curling up again. Breathing in. And exhale, peeling down. Release it down. Bring your knees back into the chest. Just give your back a little stretch here. You can rock a little bit side to side. And then we're finding our center point. Make sure your shoulders are drawing down. Now notice that your lower back is flatter into the mat now. Keep it there, inhale. Exhale, extending your left leg and left arm away from your center. Reach it away as low as you can without changing your back. And definitely keep them just off the ground so they're not resting. Inhale, fold them back in. Exhale, switch. So let's just really focus on can we get a little bit longer with each reach. Inhale, exhale. Whilst at the same time we're working our core, our center our abdominals, inhale, exhale, reach. Inhale, exhale, reach. Inhale, last one. Exhale, reach. Inhale here. Place your feet down to the ground. Open your feet as wide as the mat. Take your arms out to the side, or if your space is more limited, hands under your head. Inhale, exhale slowly, release your knees over to the right side. Do it again, make sure you're not arching into your lower back. Inhale, exhale, bring your knees back up and rock your knees over to the other side. Just enjoying that release here. And bring yourself all the way back up. Good. Bring your legs back into the chest. Hands around the back of your thighs. And then if it feels good on your spine, rock yourself a few times forwards and backwards. 
if you have any worries about this movement, you can roll to the side and push yourself up. Good. And then make your way onto your hands and knees. And now this time we're going to step the right foot forwards and then lift yourself upright. Now keep your legs hip distance apart. If your back knee hurts, you can pad it a little bit with a cushion. So we're going to lengthen the tailbone down and feel the front of the hip lifting. So we're now stretching into our hip flexors. Take your arms up. Good. Also make sure you can see the front toes. So your foot, we don't want the foot to be too close. It's going to be really hard to balance here. Nice big step forwards. Inhale. As you exhale, turn towards the front leg, reaching one arm back and the other arm reaches forwards. Inhale, bring your arms up facing forwards. Abdominals engaged, got our lovely Pilates posture. Exhale, turning now to the other side. Inhale, lift up. Gentle twist towards the front leg. Now here, if you like, you can lean a little bit forwards. If that feels good for you, let your hips sink down. That's optional. Inhale, draw the hips back as you face forwards. Exhale, turn the other way and maybe letting the hips sink gently down. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, that's our last set. Inhaling. And exhale. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, bring your hands down to the floor and we simply switch our legs over. Right leg back. Let's take the left foot forwards. Big step forwards. Legs still hip distance. Pad your back knee if that feels better. Rise up. So at the moment your weight is all the way back. You're curling that tailbone under. Your abdominals engaged. Lifting up through the front of your hips. Stretch your arms up. Lift the chest. Inhale. Exhale, turning towards the front leg, open the arms, one arm reaches back, one arm reaches forwards. Inhale, take the arms back up as you face forwards. Exhale, switch. Inhale, facing forwards, exhale towards the front leg. So you can let the hips lean forwards or you can keep the hips still. It's up to you. Inhale. And exhale. Last round. Breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Release your hands all the way down. Take your left foot all the way back. Organize your hands as wide as the mat. Shoulder distance apart more or less. Tuck the toes under. Downward facing dog. Stretch it out. Lifting up your hips. Maybe notice a slight difference to when we did this pose earlier. Maybe feel a little bit looser already. And then you can walk your feet a little forwards. You can walk your hands all the way back. And we're going to roll ourselves all the way up to standing. Good. And then we'll inhale, take the arms up. Bring your hands one more time around the back of the head. Exhale, bend your knees, coming back into that little mini squat. Earlier we did the cut stretch here with our hands on our thighs. So now we'll do the same but with the hands behind the head. And what that means is we're going to use our back muscles a little bit more. So inhale, exhale, curl the tail under, round and let the elbows point down. Please don't push on your head too much here. And then lengthen your spine and here push your head back into your hands. You feel your back muscles working. It's a good thing to wake up those muscles as well before we go ahead into our day. Round in your back. And lengthening, feeling the upper middle back working. Those long muscles along either side of your spine, they're waking up now. 
and lifting our thighs are working last one and curling in and extending good now bring yourself all the way up to standing lengthen the table down almost think with your hands lifting the back of the skull up to the sky reach your arms up nice and tall relax your arms all the way down roll your shoulders back and down inhale exhale and then we can open our feet a little wider and to finish we're just going to really loosely swing those arms you can shift a little bit the weight from side to side so make that feel really good just releasing and then making the movement smaller and smaller and smaller till you bring yourself back to the center and our final stretch take your arms up to the sky grow tall 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 exhale draw your palms down good give yourself a big thanks for making the time to start your day and practice or at any time of the day when you do this practice so well done have a wonderful day um, i hope you feel great let me know how it went for you thanks see you soon